Sharky's Bry. Today we're going to do Sharky's Marinade. Again, I've chosen a rum steak. You can choose between pork chop, a piece of lamb if you really wanted to, but 95% uh, of the time we use steak on this marinade. Um, ingredients consist of a bit of cola and tomato ketchup put together, a bit of lager, a tad bit of honey, and a couple of spices, garlic, coriander, and maybe a hint of paprika. Right, so what we do again, we start with the container. Let's get the mouth out of the way. Uh, I've already mixed it. This is about a can of cola with about two tablespoons of ketchup. We'll just put that in a bowl. Um, about 150 mils worth of lager. Add it all together in a bowl. Um, I have got a bit of honey just for a bit of sweetness. I've put two, uh, two teaspoons full in the mixture. Just mix that in. Get that all mixed in. We'll go uh, a tablespoon, uh, not a table, a teaspoon of coriander, dried coriander. A tad bit of salt just for a bit of love. And about just a tip of paprika. Mix that all in. Get that all mixed in. Just for a bit of taste, a bit of gar uh, crushed garlic there. Just put that in. Now, one of my favorites back from South Africa is chutney. Um, this comes from South Africa. You can find it in the local supermarkets over here. Truly up to you. You can add it in or not add it in. But today I'm just going to add it in. Just going to put a little bit, just a, I don't know, about two and a half tablespoons full of my chutney here. Again, mix it all in. Get that all mixed in. Last, I've cut half an onion. Just sliced it up chunky we're only using the flavor just to extract into the marinade so there's half chopped onion straight in there just mix it all in get that mixed in and that's Sharky's marinade so once it's all mixed in settled in I've got again just a cut of rump all I'm gonna do is take it straight in there into the container with the marinade, let it rest inside the marinade, let all the flavors infuse into the meat there, and that's basically it. Uh, what we'll do is just cover it over, leave it again for about half an hour to an hour, depending on when you're ready to braai. Some people like to leave it overnight, but that's truly up to them. For us, it's straightforward. Half an hour should be fine in there, and then we'll just leave it to rest. And that's Sharky's marinade. Okay, now it's time to put the Sharky's marinated steak on the braai. Uh, so I've got it here on the side, just going to pull it straight out of the marinade. It's been marinating for a while. Just excess onions off. <coughs> Take it straight on, straight onto the grill. Yeah, that sizzle, and that's perfect. Right, so now that that's that, I've got my little pot on the side. So I keep it on the cooler side of the grill. Uh, and I'm just going to take some of this uh, marinade that I've made it, made here. Just put it straight into the pot on the grill, just to, to heat up. Just keep it going nice and heated, and later on I'll keep on marinating it so it keeps the, the steak nice and moist. Right, so back on this marinated steak. It's been on for a couple of minutes. I'm going to give it its first turn. So straight on there, on the warm coals. So now that we see that we're cooking on well, let's get my basting tool, get this nice heated marinade and just going to baste it a little bit just to keep the moisture in the meat. So we don't dry it out, cook it slowly, just keep it nice and moist. Now that the, the shark is marinated steak is about medium rare at the moment. Take it off the grill. 
just perfect for me. <laughs> Sharky's marinated steak. Thank you for joining us at Sharky's Bra this week. Cheers. <laughs>